Hi everybody, I'm Matrix Andrea, and we're going to continue our playthrough of Dark Souls. This time we're going into Dark Root Garden. This is New Game 4, so let me show my build, and then we'll move on after that. So you can see that I'm in the Undead Parish, because this is the fastest way to get back to Dark Root. While I was off camera, I killed the Titanite demon down underneath where Andre is hammering. Mainly because it's boring to watch me fight those things. So this video probably won't be too long. There's only two bosses in this area. One of which I'm going to use a summon for because she's got magic and ranged attacks and I don't. Uh, and the other one... Well, you'll see. These bush enemies are weak against thrust attacks, so I always use my sword. The mace doesn't do as much damage as the thrust on the sword does. Before I move on, I never noticed this in 2011 until a few months later, but if you run up here from this pool of water, you can get down into Darkroot Basin. And that's where the shortcut from the Undead Berg leads to. But we have to go this way. I've got the Crest of Artorias that I bought from Andre, so I don't need to go that way to climb up into the garden itself. I'm just going to open the door. Ordinarily, these bush enemies will drop a lot of uh, moss clumps. I'm kind of surprised none of them did, given how much humanity I have. And there's a hidden bonfire over here behind this wall. So we're not going to go fight Sif first, we're going to go fight the Moonlight Butterfly. The Elite Knight armor is down here on the right side, but there are bush enemies that come up and try to ambush you. Plus there's these big stone guys, so it's a little bit dangerous to try to go get it. But the mace makes short, short work of them. You can see they're kind of camouflaged amongst all the rocks and things on the ground. And then Witch Beatrice has her summon sign back here, and I always summon her for this boss fight because the Moonlight Butterfly flies around and it hardly ever comes down where I can hit it, so I let her use her magic against it.
you can see right then and there why I bring Beatrice into that boss fight. It floats around and it was starting to come down, but she did almost all of its health worth of damage before it could even get to me. And then the Divine Ember is up here on this tower. And then I'll use a Homeward Bone to get back to the bonfire, and then we'll go fight Sif. I think I was wrong before when I saw one of the basement keys. I think the Watchtower basement key is the one that opens up where Havel is, but I have the Master Key, so I never have to come in here and pick it up. Alright, gonna homeward bone now and go back to the bonfire. So if you buy the Crest of Artorias from Andre, you can just open this door right here. It costs 20,000 souls, which is expensive in a uh, new game, but it's still worth it. This was another place that I was at on October 30th, the day that I left for England in 2011. Uh, I had bought the crest after I got out of the depths. I came here and I was farming these guys for a little while before I decided to quit and start playing a shoot 'em up called Riding 4. I just could not get into Dark Souls, um, the original game, back in October 2011. I played it for a little bit that month, but like I said, I just could not get into it. Not until early 2012, and then I went all out with it. You see how I'm wearing the fog ring. I just skipped past all of the forest hunter NPCs because there's no point in fighting those guys. There's like every type of character class that you can pick from the beginning of the game over there. And it's kind of a hassle to fight with them. Although there is a trick to make them all fall over the side of a cliff. Here comes a lot of people's favorite boss, and they're sad when they have to kill him, but it's a boss that you have to kill to progress, so I'm going to do it.
that's all there is to Sif. You can just roll through some of his attacks and get underneath him and then just beat him with whatever weapon you're using. Behind the gravestone over here is the Hornet Ring if you're into backstabbing. Uh, like I said, this was going to be a really short video because uh, there were only a couple of bosses and the stages themselves are really short. Now that I've got the the Covenant of Artorias Ring, I might go to New Londo next. Uh, although I'm kind of debating about whether I should go to the Catacombs first, because I don't want to deal with the Four Kings. But anyway, I guess that'll do for now. I'll see everybody later, and thanks for watching.